Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is the Blockchain Backer bringing you the latest cryptocurrency news and analysis. And, well, we've got a new week in front of us. We had our weekly candle close over here in the cryptocurrency market and on the Ripple XRP price chart. So we'll dive into that. I wanted to also talk about a couple of best practices going into a bull market. And if you did miss yesterday's video, I was happy to report that the Blockchain Barker has returned home and he is doing great. So we're in the recovery process right now, but his personality has returned, his mobility has returned, he's eating, drinking, and he's doing great now that he's back home. So just a little update on that. Thank you all for your supportive comments and your prayers. I really appreciate it, and I'm glad to report that he is back home. So in this video, we are going to take a closer look at the XRP price chart, what I'm expecting moving forward, what we've seen for the last week. And then, of course, we'll address this elephant in the room where Bitcoin went back up and butted up against $12,000 again last night. So here we go. Bitcoin's trying to pop up to a new higher level. But before we get started, as always, you can check out the link in the description of this video to Unstoppable Domains to get your own .crypto domain address, which is compatible with Coinbase Wallet to be able to receive dozens of digital assets to one simple domain address. For example, mine is bcbacker.crypto. Unstoppable Domains is a partner of Coinbase and a founding member of Ripple's Open Payments Coalition for PayID. Get your own domain today by visiting the link in the description of this video. So first things first, we'll dive right in here to the XRP price chart. As expected, we did close just below the 100-week moving average with the XRP price closing just of under 29 cents. I, you know, it's kind of just what I've expected. I've expected that we're doing some consolidation. I do think we're in a bull run. I think things are going to get incredibly exciting very, very soon. This is more of just a pit stop that we have to make to regain the fuel, kind of like, you know, with like the SpaceX Mars mission that they plan on putting it out into orbit, refilling it, and then sending it on its mission. I think that's what we're doing here. We're just refueling the tanks, and I expect that this thing is going to go much higher, and it's not going to be much longer. I mean, if, if, if a couple of weeks to you, is a long time. Well, man, <laughs> we were in here for a couple of years. I could see that a couple of weeks it could be in this region. Otherwise, get ready because I think this thing is dead. Without a doubt, its next move is going to take it up into the 50s, potentially the 60s. So we had our weekly candle close below the 100 week. There's still the possibility that we do have a pretty kind of scary little sell off that happens that takes us down below 23 cents. Either way, it's all just consolidation. And the next move I'm expecting is that we're not going to go below this. There. I don't think we're going to go below there at all. I think the next major move is moving way up and above the 50 cent region, which is coming relatively soon. As for Bitcoin, yep, right up there near $12,000. So pretty exciting time just for the whole market. And you can just kind of sense that bull market mode back here. And, and, and really when you go on Twitter, and one of the things if you weren't around in 2017 that you have to be so careful of is in a bull market when there's a lot of liquidity and there's a lot of money pouring into this market, you start hearing about all these coins that you've never heard of before. Uh, things that have just like pumped to the moon and suddenly they're being talked about a lot on Twitter. Uh, that was common practice in 2017. So essentially what happens is people fill their bags when it's low, get it pumped really high, and then start a marketing campaign on Twitter or in TradingView chat rooms or on Telegram or 4chan to try to get people to buy the bags off of them at the higher prices. So you always have to be careful of that. And that is like, okay, it's not a good thing if you're buying those things. If you're buying already pumped coins that are suddenly that you've never heard of and they're just being shilled to you and you're buying them, that's not a good thing. But what is a good thing is that seeing that behavior returning again is a sign of a bull market. Those types of shady practices that are happening, that's exactly what happened in the bull market last time. So keep an eye on that. You know, my, my mentality on all of this has always been, if it's already pumped, it's too late. You have missed the train. However, if you own a variety of coins and one of them has pumped, that's a great opportunity to sell out of that pumped coin and put it and shift it and diversify it throughout the remaining of the ones that you already own that are still suppressed. Mathematically, you will win big time doing that by selling the things that are pumped to buy the suppressed. 
the way you will mathematically lose big time is to sell your suppressed assets to chase the pumping coins. You always want to sell the pumping coins to buy the suppressed ones. Do not sell the suppressed ones to buy the pumping coins. That's just mathematics. That's not financial advice. That's not an investment advice. That's <laughs> I'm not a financial advisor. It is simple mathematics. And if you take the time and run the math on it yourself, you'll understand it is a complete losing trade to sell your suppressed assets for pumping coins. It is a winning trade to sell your pumping assets for suppressed coins. Again, not financial advice, but we're seeing that behavior again and that FOMO behavior happening again. And it's just exciting because we see Bitcoin getting up to $12,000. We see all the different coins that nobody's heard of being shilled throughout Twitter. We see the excitement everywhere. It's all just positive signs that things are turning around and the, the, the wild, wild west of crypto is returning. As for the total altcoin market cap chart, I noticed something weird over here, right? So let me just show you this really fast. One of the things we talked about for a while was how we were expecting it to go to $138 billion. It did get all the way up to 135 and a half, 136 here on the four hour chart. But look what happens when you flip it on the daily. When you flip this thing to the daily chart, I don't know why TradingView shows it hitting it right there at 138, but ah, I don't know. You guys know my stance on this. My opinion is that the most likely scenario is that we see a pullback in the cryptocurrency market. It's a buy the dip moment, not financial advice, but a buy the dip moment because the greater trend of this market is that it's going way up. So I'll be excited either way. If this market wants to pump and keep moving to the upside, by all means, let's go to the moon. If it does pull back, I will seize that opportunity as well. Because either way, no way do I think that we are going to break lower than here. No way. I think anybody who's planning on being a buyer, if you can buy while well, that market cap's at $100 billion, man, that's a... Uh, that that could be a really good buy. Again, I have to keep saying that, not financial advice. And the reason I have to keep saying that is because there's so many people asking me, should I buy, should I buy, should I buy? <laughs> Do your own research. As for me, if I am going to put more money into this market, I have to wait for the prices to come down lower because I have to make sure that every entry that I make has the greatest potential to go up and get the highest returns. So for me to make new entries and put fresh money in, I have to always buy when people are mad, when people are angry, when there's fear in the market and people are say selling it, saying it's never going to go anywhere and blockchain backer, this XRP thing, it's never going to do anything that's the time that i like to buy when everybody is screaming yes i'm just loading my bags it's so exciting i'm just loading those are the times i'm not touching it so if we get that pullback it'll be exciting if we don't get the pullback it'll be exciting but i do suspect we will get it now one of the things we haven't talked about in a while is the bitcoin dominance chart i've you know for a long time i've said that i expect that the bitcoin dominance is going to go all the way down to 15 percent and that we're going to see this massive alt season and i still believe that so i want to show you i want to show you something on the chart so this is completely and i i fully stand by it and believe this is our fibonacci uh our fibonacci setup for this big move i'll take it off the log scale here and get us down like this right here and i suspect that if we get a break below this level we're going to see a big move in the altcoins so if there is some type of sell-off in the cryptocurrency market i don't think the percentage matches up for Bitcoin compared to the altcoins. So if we saw a sell-off like I am expecting, I would actually expect the Bitcoin dominance to rise a little bit and do a little bit of a back test up here and then break on down. But this level right here that we're playing and butting our head up against seems to be pretty critical from a Fibonacci perspective. I do love this setup because of how many different reaction points we do have here. We could see how many times it bounces off here. We can see that the 702 level was a support level right in here. Also, when we do when we do see how this thing has retraced on itself, that it retraced back up to the 702 level before turning over on itself. So I do suspect that the Bitcoin dominance has already turned on itself. We are kind of at one of those critical points right now on whether or not we're going to get a big, big move all at once. Something tells me it may hold here for a second, but the second it breaks below that, right? So the second we get below like, you know, 60, right? If we're below 60% Bitcoin dominance and we get back into the 50s, well, we haven't seen the 50s since June of 2000. 
2019, and I'm going to suspect that we'll move all the way down to about 50% dominance relatively quickly, and that would be a big move for the altcoins. But everything about this setup looks so good to me, especially when we see how, you know, the, the 702 is not something that's included in a Fibonacci retracement. It's something that I manually enter in because I find so many reactions for that level. And look how during this move, it actually found perfect support on this level with the Fibonacci set up here and how that 702 was the exact level to really hold it before it actually really started an actual bull run. So exciting time. I think if Bitcoin can get below 60, we see it go to 50 pretty fast. And that, of course, means big moves for the altcoins. And we've been kind of looking at things from a bigger perspective. So let's go ahead and take a look at the XRP price chart and really kind of just the four hour time or really is the two hour time frame. We'll look at it a little bit tighter and you can see that we've just been consolidating now for eight days. So it's kind of exactly what we've been expecting is what we've been talking about. When you get this big of a knockback, it usually takes a while for all of this volatility to kind of dry up. And then with volatility drying up, you're also looking to see volume dry up. So we need the volume to really kind of get down to practically nothing. And then out of nowhere, a large amount of volume will come in to make it choose a direction. So we're kind of doing what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be getting tighter and tighter and tighter, volume getting lower and lower and lower, and then a big move will eventually come. So every day is one step closer to that day happening. <laughs> but here we are, we're still in consolidation, just waiting for that to come. But either way, it's just exciting to be in this market right now. And whether or not you like Bitcoin, you know, Bitcoin's always been the leader of the pack. It's always been the biggest market cap coin in the cryptocurrency market. And we should all celebrate that, you know, Bitcoin's button up against 12,000 right now that draws a lot of attention to the cryptocurrency market and that's of course positive you know flow money flowing in here always flows into the altcoins later so the more bitcoin goes up the better it's great for everybody in the market so we'll go ahead and start wrapping this one up it's a great start to start out the week so you could check out the link in the description of this video to unstoppable domains i want to thank you guys so much for watching my channel if you could please like this video and give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be notified of when I create new content and when I go live. As always, this is not investment advice and I am not a financial advisor, but if you ever need a pick me up or a little bit of reassurance, just remember that the blockchain backers got your back. Have a good one.